Uh, so here's a quick video to give you a guide on how I take photos of stuff. And this sounds like a really obvious thing, but the number of pictures people do that are just awful on blogs. The first thing is do not steal the company's images themselves of a product because everyone else has got it and Google's just going to think you've got no original content. And the second thing is, and these are some boots I'm about to review that I've just trashed. Actually, no, I didn't trash them on the Appalachian Trail. They did amazingly well. But my point is... Um, a lot of people might take a picture that's literally like that, or like that, or just on the side like that, and all you're creating is an incredibly dull image. This is a dull image. It looks almost like the image that you're going to get on Google anyway. What I will try and do, and I'll put examples in the blog, but what I try and do is put it in an exciting location, which in this case is this nice rocky grassy thing, which just so happens to be around in my back garden. But if I take it at this angle, it looks epic. Um, maybe add at a kooky angle the grip as well and already you can see just by changing the angle there like that I've got a much more interesting image um, and so I think the best thing to do is to show you and go and have a look at loads of my blogs on how I've taken photos of shoes and products and that kind of thing but this kind of image from above is very boring but you know think about the background and basically you're going to need a whole stock little area of places where you're going to want to take decent pictures of stuff and these days, when I have a product to review that I like, I often have to think hard about an exciting location to take a picture of it because that's part of what makes the picture exciting. I hope that kind of makes sense, but really, if you're stuck for inspiration, if you're reviewing shoes, go look at a few of my shoe reviews, look at the angles, look at the way I've set the shoes up, look at what I've done about the backdrop, and, and, and just copy it. Um, but eventually you'll get, you'll, you'll, like me, you'll just get good at kind of having a decent eye for what makes an exciting and original photo that Google's going to really, really love. But trust me, nailing it with exciting fit photos is really, really important to getting your blog to a ranking. So there you go. There's some pictures and some shoes and some thoughts about taking decent pictures. But really, other than this video, just go look at all the different stuff I've done and it'll give you a really good idea and lots of stock setups for how to set things up. So there you go.